Transformers fans, and welcome back to another cool toy review. Although, we have more adult collectible type toys in this box. Not necessarily just to play with type toys. And you'll see what I mean as I start going through this box, whatever is in here. Obviously, it's Transformers themed. Sent to us by our good friends at stylinboxes.com. And in case you may think, wait, I've seen a box like that before at a local convention. That's because Stylin Boxes regularly sets up at large conventions all around the country. And you can pick them up from the convenience of your home on stylinboxes.com. Or if there's some specific items that you see that they might have in stock on their other website, Stylin Online. Com. You can order some unique and specific cool, fun, nerdy items directly from there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and break into this box right here because I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty excited as to what might be in here. When we started talking about promo boxes for things like RebelScum.com, which is our all Star Wars fan website, by the way, if you haven't checked that out, both Nick and I do a number of awesome reviews and content on that website as well. Well, we have reviewed a few Star Wars boxes. Depending on when they get posted, though, they may already be up or soon to be up in case you haven't seen them yet. And make sure you check the RebelScum.com YouTube channel for those reviews. Again, assuming they've been posted already before this one has. And if not, well, stay tuned. Anyway, first of all, let's look at the box. And this box is done in that classic back of the toy G1 packaging and I love it. In fact, I also have an original TV tray for those kids at home who remember what those are and it's in this art style. Actually, I have two of them. Although I still got to get the other one, which they did art of on the back and I'm excited about. So there's the front art. On this side, you've got the original toy Megatron packaging art. On this side, you've got the original Optimus Prime toy packaging art. On the top, it's the classic, the Transformers logo. And on the back, there is that other back of the toy packaging art. I wanna say this was the 85, 86 toy packaging art, or maybe it didn't take over until 86. One of the two, regardless, they also did a TV tray of that and other awesome merch back in the day. And I like this one more because it's got my favorite Transformer of all time, Trypticon, on the back of it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the outer box. Let's break into this thing. So there's a few tabs here to get in. There's a sleeve. Oh, that's cool. On the underside of that other flap, there's the Decepticon version of the classic The Transformers logo, which is my preferred version, if you ask me. And if you didn't ask me, well, I told you anyway. All right. Oh, that's really cool. We'll show that in a minute. Ooh, what? All right, we'll start with these. We'll start with these because there's something that goes with them. All right, we have a four pack of coasters and these feel nice and weighty too. So I think these are going to be made of like stone or maybe ceramic, but we have four coasters here on the back. It shows us the coasters that come in this pack right here. So we've got Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Grimlock, and the Autobot symbol. So not a bad four pack of coasters there. Let's go ahead and get these out. I like that they also have that classic The Transformers packaging art from Generation 1. And it looks like they're ceramic coasters with a nice cork bottom to them. These are done by Surreal Entertainment and are officially licensed by Hasbro. And you've got this nice little smooth cork bottom for your furniture so it won't be rough on it. It feels nice in hand. You've got that kind of tile-like feeling to it. Here we have the Optimus Prime one. Gotta say, it's definitely my favorite of the four here. Big fan of Optimus Prime. We've got the Grimlock, which also looks really cool. And he's in dino mode there. And I like that the background on this is in purple. Honestly, this one kind of reminds me of Transformers Animated a little bit. Not so much because of the stylization of the art, but just the, the way they did the Autobot logo in that isolated white and red with just the other stuff surrounding it is very Transformers animated looking to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. 
So we have these nice coasters, and clearly we're going to have to have something to put them on, whether that's cups or things we already have at home, or the thing I really got excited about as soon as I opened the box, a couple of nice Transformers collectible drinking glasses. And these are made of glass. These are also made by Surreal, according to the back of the box. And we have a nice red Optimus Prime glass, where he's looking very actionable. We'll put that on our Optimus Prime coaster there. And we have a really nice Bumblebee drinking glass, which we will put on our Bumblebee coaster right there. It's perfect. Now I just need a Grimlock glass and just a regular Autobot glass to go with those. Move those over so we can find more stuff to play with. Let's go ahead and move that too. All righty. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to save that thing for last. There's, there's something really big and really cool in there. <gasps> I didn't see that before. What? That was hiding under something. Oh, look at that. We've got a Unicron's head enamel pin, also by Surreal. But it looks like it's stylized, not so much after the movie, which, of course, this toy is based pretty much off the movie, but... This seems to be based more off of the toy than the movie. It looks like it's based off of the HasLab Unicron. I, I love this. I this just jumped up. I know I know these are really awesome, and I love these too. But this just jumped up to my like favorite piece in the whole box. And there's something way 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 cooler in here, depending on who you ask. Honestly, it is cooler than this, but I'm just more excited about this now. Um, we have a lanyard branded Transformers. It's just a regular white lanyard with Transformers on it. We have a little rubber Optimus Prime there, and you have a little lanyard badge ID holder, whatever you want to call it, or, you know, you could do like some of us vendors or press people do when we're at cons or meeting with people and put business cards in the back of them. And you got a cool little lenticular Optimus Prime art card in said lanyard. That's obviously got to stay in the lanyard for me because it's too cool to take out. We have a nice little Optimus Prime journal here. So you got a nice little banded strap that goes over it to keep your journal closed so people can't just accidentally read your secrets, your Optimus Prime secrets, because this is an awesome Optimus Prime journal. I love that artwork, by the way. And that's it for that stuff. All right, let's see. Is there anything else in here other than that one thing? Because once I show this one thing, people, you, you guys are probably just going to, you know, start jumping over to uh, styleandboxes.com and order this box hoping to get it. Or, you know, see if it's available on styleandonline.com because, all right, I lied. The Unicron piece is my second favorite. This is my second. This is my favorite piece. I just realized what the art was on this thing. So... We have a Transformers the Movie Fleece Throw Blanket. Wow. First of all, Transformers the Movie 1986, because there's also 2007. Transformers the Movie 1986 is not just my favorite Transformers movie. And I know it's not just the favorite Transformers movie of many Transformers fans across the world. But this is my number one favorite movie of all time. I love love this movie and I've seen it more times than I can count and I have an original theatrical poster in my own personal collection it's at home my beautiful wife got it for me and I love it so much I have the 35th anniversary theatrical poster as well I didn't however have a nice awesome blanket based off of that poster that I can now just cuddle up with when I'm at home playing video games, watching Transformers the movie, and enjoying a nice beverage from my new Optimus and Bumblebee glasses. So that's really cool. Oh, wow. I am, I am so very excited about this. Oh. I have it sideways. Nope. The other sideways. 
Look at that. The printing is really well done. The colors, I'm just going to scroll it up for you. The colors are really well done. I mean, this is fantastic. And it's so soft. Super soft. So very soft. Soft. And who doesn't like soft things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That is very, very nice. Style unboxes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much from one Transformer fan to another. You guys put together a fantastic box. And guys, they have so much more than just Transformers. Their, their brand reach is so much further than just Transformers. It's so much further than just Star Wars, which again, we were covering on RebelScum.com. It goes beyond all of that. So make sure that you check them out. If you're at a con, look for that big booth. You'll see all kinds of awesome mystery boxes. Maybe even this particular mystery box at their booth, as well as many other pop culture brands, movies, shows that I guarantee you like and love. There's something awesome in one of their boxes for you. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the Cool Toy Review YouTube channel and check out Cool Toy Review daily for all kinds of daily toy news, reviews, and more. But also, like and subscribe to the Bay 12 YouTube channel where we've done all kinds of awesome toy reviews and more myself. And make sure you check out rebelscum.com. I mentioned it earlier. It's the world's oldest and largest Star Wars fan website not owned by Disney. And there's daily Star Wars news fan content, toy reviews, and more there. And like and subscribe to that YouTube channel where you can catch content by both myself and Nick here from Cool Toy Review doing awesome Star Wars toy review content. Catch me and Nick at Rebel Scum Con 2024, June 27th through the 30th. RebelScum.com is hosting a Star Wars fan convention for the first time in the nearly 30 year long history of RebelScum.com being up on the interwebs for Star Wars fans new and old all around the world. Come meet us in person and hang out with us along with many other Star Wars celebrity guests. Lots of awesome Star Wars panels, activities hosted by both me and Nick as well, and more at Rebel Scum Con 2024. For more information, go to Rebel Scum Conventions with an S.com. Once again, that's Rebel Scum Conventions.com for more information on Rebel Scum Con. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and snuggle out, I guess, because that's what I'm going to be doing after this. I'm going to go. I'm gonna go lay back in this chair here in a few minutes and take me a nice comfy nap with this nice new blanket.